Even if you have public key authentication set up for SSH on your server, if you do not have password authentication disabled, then users can still attempt to log in with a password by specifying the preferred authentication method. So as a demonstration here, I have public key authentication enabled for my server, but I have yet to disable password authentication. So what someone could do is just pass in an option, set preferred authentication to password, and set pub key authentication to no. Then if they enter this, we can see it just prompts for a password. Right off the bat, you can see how this looks insecure. It looks like an open invitation to a server that could be housing sensitive user data and server-side code. A much better response to a password login attempt would be just a rejection message, which is what we'll do in this video. And real quick, if you like content like this, check out my courses linked in the description. Also check out my software in the description and like and subscribe. But so if you're not familiar, both SSH keys and passwords have their pros and cons but the cons of passwords are more severe than those of SSH keys. For example, passwords are susceptible to brute force attacks, are often repeated among different applications, and are not as long and complex as SSH keys. Some cons of SSH keys are that they don't have an expiration date and sit on disk. However, they can be password protected and rotated. Also, passwords are sent to the server while private SSH keys remain on the local computer. So what this really means is I would recommend disabling any kind of password authentication and only using keys. And of course, disabling password authentication comes from the SSH server itself. So I'm just gonna log into my server. And now that I've logged in, what I need to do is configure the SSH daemon or SSHD to disable password authentication. So the SSH daemon is configured at the location etc-ssh and there's a file in here called sshd config. I'm gonna go into it with vim. So this here is the contents of this file. And what it contains is configuration options, such as where to listen for SSH connections, setting allowed authentication methods, and things like that. And so what we are interested in is the line here, password authentication, and also pub key authentication, which is right here. And as you can guess, these keys toggle password and public key authentication. So if we set, if we set password authentication to be no, then that will disable password authentication. So what we want to do is have password authentication set to no and pub key authentication set to yes. By the way, I have an in-depth video on getting all this stuff set up. I'll leave a link to that video in the description. But what we want to essentially do is just disable password authentication. So if I do this, set it to no, and then save the file. After making these changes, what I want to do is restart our SSH daemon, which we can do with systemctl and just restart SSH. And if you're unfamiliar with this, this system CTL is essentially a command for managing services on in modern Linux systems. But now after doing that, let's just exit out of here. And now if we try our, what we did previously, when we say, hey, I wanna use password authentication, if we try and log in with this, we will get permission denied public key, which is a lot more secure than having um, just a password prompt appear. But there we go. If you like content like this, once again, check out my courses, link in the description. Also my software. I have some pretty cool Chrome extensions I've made. Besides that, thank you for liking and subscribing, and I hope to see you in the next one. Take it easy.